So we are having with us Kartikian Murli, uh, Grandmaster from India. The days you win, you win, you won your game, and uh, you're you're right now the leader of the tournament with five and half out of six. It's mm -hmm. pretty amazing result so far. Thank Congratulations you. on that first call. Thank you. And uh, if you can, we would like to see your games today. Yeah. It's interesting. Yeah. So okay, it was. Uh, this opening this, uh, time on, or pulse and I don't know how to call it. Uh, okay, so here, uh, okay, I knew till this rook a1 and bishop of three. After this, I was out of the book. And after knight eight, I uh, started to think like I had to do something here yeah, somewhere f5 or e5 or maybe some g5 is. But here, yeah, none of the none of those were working. So I played queen of two here, first threatening here, and then. Planning some, uh, yeah. So planning some F5 or E5 eventually. I think rook C8 was not needed, but it's already not so easy to decide uh, where to put the rook. Either to rook to B8 or rook to C8. That was already a difficult choice because rook on C8 it's in the semi-open file and rook on B8 it's closing. I mean it's in the uh, B file which is not open, but you can uh, you play A5 and B4 areas. And mm -hmm. more importantly, rook B8 is stopping B4. Sorry. Rook b8 is stopping bb6. That's mm -hmm. the important point. Yeah, well, rook c8 is not bad, but it's fine. Yeah. So after f5, uh, uh, e5 was uh, like uh, I didn't expect e5. I thought uh, the most natural move is bishop of six here. This is what I was calculating. And uh, takes takes and bishop g4. Okay, we both saw this, but yeah, like it looks scary. But uh, e5, d5, bishop e5, and something like queen c5. And I thought eventually this will be a draw. Somehow, like let's say, takes, takes, bishop of six, knight of six, and take. Okay, rook of six. Yeah, both are fine. Yeah, takes and yeah, something like this. Or maybe I think, uh, yeah, knight, uh, yeah, uh, knight of six is even simpler. Oh, so. no, to give. Better to drag, yeah. Ah, okay, yeah. So takes, 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 and something like knight d5, something like this. Yeah, so or with, five, with d5, d8, yeah. black maybe got some more structure. Yeah, yeah. And maybe uh, a5 here, yeah. Like, I felt this should be around equal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, yeah, anyway, he, he was a uh, little bit worried about this portion after uh, queen c5, let's say. Even queen c6 is fine, I think. Knight d4 and bishop e7, something like this. But he was quite worried about this. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, bishop versus could have been played. Uh, okay, e5 is not bad. So, e5, played bishop b6, you know, to stop e5 and uh, most like that. I mean, some counterplay there. Okay, queen b7 and g4. Yeah, I had this mi this in mind when playing f5. Yeah, so here, uh, I was a little bit worried about knight c7, actually, uh, when I started calculating uh, f5 here. So, after knight c7, rook d1, rook d8. This... I was not sure about this because he's getting d5. Uh, like I don't know. Like he is also sacrificing some exchange somewhere. So d5. Okay, if you take, it's a typical portion. Like you take, take, and you just sacrifice and go back something like this. And uh, my king side is little bit uh, weak here. And he has this bishop, which is very strong. So this should be at least compensation for black. So after d5, e d5, something. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, d5, something like rook d5. This I was a little bit worried about this. Maybe it's not bad, but okay. So I just take a knight d5, something like this. This was a little bit unclear here. So I was mainly worried about this portion. Maybe I'm not bad, but okay, black is not bad either. So yeah, I thought this is very good counterplay for black. Okay, and uh, here uh, bishop h4 would have been. Uh, uh, mm. the correct uh, version like I play the same queen h4 queen d6 similar to the game something like this here g6 and h6 we thought uh, it's probably a much better version because queen is already on this diagonal that's a very important point uh, maybe it's still the same but okay this getting this diagonal is very much important for black and also but, and, uh, yeah. g pushing g6 was uh, yeah that's uh, yeah like I also thought this, but I just take and play rook c7 and knight of 6 like, mm. I, I don't know, uh, I don't have any targets here, that's the uh, problem, yeah. yeah. So rook g5 and uh, similarly rook c7 and then eventually knight of 6. 
and my night is very uh, passive there and after night of 6 like yes targets so and mm-hmm. i don't have any targets there so i felt uh, i should not play like this that's why i think g6 is more or less forced and after h6 yeah it's similar to the game but yeah his queen is on b6 that's uh, very important yeah maybe it's uh, also equal but yeah i think this is uh, getting the queen on b6 is something like like an achievement at least okay b d8 yeah so i had to take i was calculating bishop p3 for long uh, but uh, it looks it looked very slow like uh, i lost already some tempo by playing bb6 and again i'm playing bishop e3 i was not quite sure about this something like a5 and b4 uh, mm-hmm. but uh, something like i couldn't believe that this is the right way like maybe i can even take and play knight c7 and d5 like he played in the game maybe it's okay but uh, i was not completely sure about this so after bishop b3 you can also play b4 directly take queen b4 and bishop c1 something like this but it looked very slow my pawn is uh, still on g4 and maybe you can create something in the queen side but yeah i thought bishop d8 is uh, simpler yeah so bishop d8 rook d8 and g5 i think yeah f6 is uh, more or less the correct move yeah. otherwise i'll play f6 and some Ka- complications like so has to react yeah so f6 uh, yeah i played g6 and then h6 uh, i thought this position is around equal like uh, both of us don't have any chances because the king side is fully closed and in the queen side yeah i plan to play b4 after e plays a5 so i thought uh, it will be somewhere we will get stuck somewhere and we will repeat moves and it will be some a draw eventually so i started with here because Uh, I want to play rook d1 but uh, there was some problem with knight c7 rook d3 and somebody got d5 so I played like this mm-hmm. so difference is after knight c7 rook d1 now almost you can't play d5 here yeah. so so you just blocked it basically yeah so the problem is my rook is on third rank uh, so it, uh, yeah. yeah knight d5 yeah, something like this and I will take take and uh, rook d3 this is the point my rook is on third rank so i don't get the check uh, that's the point yeah so that's why i played rook e3 uh, yeah so i played knight c7 rook d1 yeah if i was okay yeah if i is right and i played b4 to stop b4 i don't know whether i can allow b4 for black like uh, to allow b4 and then you know uh, mm-hmm. target the b4 pawn but uh, it felt like he is protecting the b4 pawn as well something like let's say i play something like queen d2 when b4 is working here take take and uh, it's a 98 or 96 and uh, yeah black is pretty much fine here the problem is like my my, my e4 pawn is also weak here so i couldn't i cannot uh, you know attack the target very easily yeah, yeah. so i had to play b4 i took a b4 a b4 rook d7 yeah, this is the question i had in mind uh, i mean when i played uh, b b6 and g4 and all i thought okay it's pretty much like we got stuck in this position and some like will play king g1 king h1 or something like this we will repeat some moves and it will be a draw because i can't create something in the queen side there's no breakthrough in the queen side that's the problem yes and like also cannot do much because yeah, of the weak d6 yeah d6 pawn and i also should be careful about this d5 mm-hmm. like so i can't uh, like control the d5 at the same time create a breakthrough so that's yeah. not possible so i thought it will be a draw somewhere like you will repeat something like king h2 king g3 something like this you will play king e8 king e7 something like this yeah but okay so is 3 maybe king g2 king c3 was better but okay i don't want to take the king all the way there so i just you know me kept it safe king h2 king e7 he had a chance i thought he had a chance to play d5 here mm-hmm. but i th- i think this is not working because i take okay okay anyway maybe yeah. 95 is better yeah nice yeah so 95 mm-hmm. yeah so i take bishop d5 d5 rook d5 but then i think there is king g3 this is the point mm. the next move is something like queen e4 something like this because queen e4 is rook d2 so i have to get the king out of the way yeah. then queen e4 queen cannot for example yeah come in there yeah, yeah. <laughs> so queen is stuck there yeah. so this is the way it is yeah. yeah okay so i thought it's okay but okay. yeah i think this is the right way yeah 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 So I played rook here. This was I felt this was little bit too obvious. I was ex- expecting some draw like knight a6. Let's say I play rook b1, 
next season again and come back to day one i think you just create a threat in this situation yeah mm-hmm. and go back and like mm-hmm. this will be eventually a drop okay but rook here not bad though i thought okay i just move the knight since he moved the rook i thought i'll move my knight uh if it queen is yes. i think this is not the right way the queen is almost the mistake maybe maybe if you play rook d8 back i think i have to play knight c3 to play on d5 is so there like something that. like rook a2 no rook a2 the problem was uh, this rook d2 it mm-hmm. is queen d3 and some threats in the diagonal yeah yeah exactly yeah. Well, eventually i played that i brought the queen eventually to play the so yeah so i think yeah here you have to play rook d8 again yeah i thought after rook d8 maybe i had chance maybe something like this you know to allow defense play something like queen d3 yeah uh, i was calculating this but uh, i was not sure during the game because king. you can not move the pawn because of the f7 but maybe king of eight yeah maybe king of eight mm. yeah i can't play this one Then basically no threats yeah, to the diagonal and he wants to yeah. Maybe you have to... Uh, maybe uh, I have to... Yeah, I have to maybe give check here. Man. I give check, I think this king here goes. Check, mm-hmm. I think this king here. Yeah, yeah black is, I think, mm-hmm. uh, slightly better here. Yeah, I think I can't allow d5, yeah. So if you had played mm-hmm. rook d8, I think I would have repeated knight c3, yeah. The queen is almost a mistake, I think. because it allowed queen d2 so my threat is rook d6 he saw initially saw queen of 2 that's why he went but i think he missed this knight d4 then oh, this knight c6 nice. yeah uh, so yeah so rook d8 yeah then i played queen c3 now i got this queen b3 so already i think it's pretty tough for black yeah i was thinking bishop e4 here yeah? bishop e4 i think i missed something i don't know what was that king h1 queen e2 and bishop c6 uh, trapping the rook maybe this better for uh, i mean like uh, maybe it's not bad for black but i couldn't find anything for black here mm-hmm. uh, i felt there must be something for black but okay in that in time scramble it's uh, always difficult to find something uh, especially in this unclear portion so and if we, um, e4 is not really working yeah, e4 maybe just i come back rook d2 mm-hmm. and just stick this change yeah Yeah. Yeah. Queen yeah. so C3. Yeah, he played Queen B6. At least Queen B6 was better, I think. He played Queen B6 and he played Queen B3. I think already it's difficult. Yeah, I think it's lost on first look of it to you know control this and then uh, I play something like Knight C3. Now I think at least I am better because my Queen is well placed here now and now its piece pieces are more uh, stuck to the protection mm-hmm. of these squares. Yeah. Also, this pawn must be protected. Yeah, I think always there be uh, Yes, before the position was yeah. pretty much the both players were stuck so yeah. the same their position and So in this uh, position only he stuck. Yeah. I uh, include mm-hmm. a little bit. Yeah, so But maybe it's yeah, maybe yeah, it's maybe still it's still uh, there's some chances mm-hmm. here. Yeah. But after king of it yeah, just uh, it, it was just a blunder and I took this and yeah. Yeah, yeah this yeah. Yeah, so yeah. outcome uh, with the help of some tactics here yeah. and uh, Uh, but at the end you were both in time travel i guess yeah so like around 6 minutes and 5 minutes yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah. yeah okay so you're now leading the tournament with five and half out mm-hmm. of six points and also you were leading before with four and a half out of five how do you feel yourself uh, in the situation in the tournament right now how do you evaluate your chess at this moment so are you satisfied with how Uh, how you're playing so not mm. necessarily with the result but how you're playing also. actually yeah i'm quite satisfied with the result but uh, not the way i played uh, even in this game also in the previous game like in the previous game i had many winning chances and uh, i just screwed it up and uh, made many mistakes and but eventually i won but okay i missed many chances in the middle game itself like i was winning uh, everywhere uh, mm-hmm. like i could have played a rook d d8 instead of rook d6 mm-hmm. on yesterday I saw that but I thought okay rook d c is a simpler and queen h2 but nothing came after queen h2 and also after queen h2 there was one moment I could have played rook e8 check and okay like I missed many winning uh, options and uh, I went for the same game which was like almost drawn I think even uh, mm-hmm. drawn objectively but it was little bit difficult to defend for him so but yeah like uh, he didn't uh, play the correct way and uh, I eventually won that game 
but mm. yeah it could it should have been over like uh, like uh, two hours ago but i just prol- prolonged it and uh, yeah somehow i won that yeah so like i would say that i was not happy entirely like yesterday so with the play with the play so but with the result of course yeah i was very yeah. happy yeah, yeah. And, um, so currently it's pretty hard to over the board chess and mm-hmm. how is it going for you so do you have many opportunities to play over the board chess not much uh, i'm playing uh, bl uh, like um, uh, i don't know fourth or fifth time i lost count mm-hmm. uh, but i'm playing otb chess like uh, after uh, let's say i think almost two years so it was pretty hard uh, pretty uh, tough for me to you know like uh, 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 hold on without playing uh, otb chess like i was of course playing uh, online tournaments like mm-hmm. title tuesday and the mm-hmm. tournaments like that Yeah, but, but that also influence your current uh, chess yeah, right yeah, now also yeah, playing yeah. too much mm. over uh, too much too much online yeah like, like you can't keep on back. yeah you can't keep on playing online like you have to play otb chess and like so yeah it was pretty tough but okay like uh, i was waiting for this moment you know to you know show my skills and to play well so yeah it's pretty good to play uh, after a long time yeah. Yeah. you're so you're satisfied to get the over the board chess back yeah, finally yeah of course yeah yeah uh, maybe you have some plans for the future or some tournaments or you don't know so uh, yeah like after this tournament i am going to uh, riga uh, hmm. riga open tournament and after that uh, maybe spain but spain i'm not sure because i think the cases mm-hmm. are pretty much bad mm-hmm. there, yeah. so yeah. Uh, spain i'm not sure but uh, for sure i'm playing riga so that's for now after that uh, no, no plans how do you enjoy bill Yeah, I've been uh, many either, times. Yeah. yeah, like I've been four or five times, and it's absolutely beautiful to you know play in Bill tournament. I l- really like uh, playing in Bill. Yeah. But the weather is a little bit um, not stable. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I am used to it, so it yeah. doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. so good luck to you in the further rounds, thank and uh, hope to see you maybe for another interview. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Good luck. Thank see you. you. Thank you.